Hey guys, and welcome to the video. We're going to be talking about Zen, who is soon to be unbanned from RCS. For those of you who don't know him, he's actually signed to Vitality in Europe, who recently placed second uh, in the recent regional. And uh, they have this guy, and he's actually a banned player. Uh, I think he went on someone's account a couple of years ago and tried to play RCS underage on their account. And that resulted in him, in him having a year long ban or something like that. And uh, in about two months time, we're gonna see Zen be able to play in the spring split of RCS. So very exciting stuff. And we're actually gonna be taking a look at some replays to see how he would fit in, see how well he would do in RCS. And you know, if he's gonna bring Vitality to that next level. And uh, spoilers, I think he absolutely will. Those of you who watch my channel or just know me in general, you guys know I'm very high on Zen as, you know, just as most people are in the community, but oh my God, not these guys. We've played them like five games now. They are uh, they're very annoying to play against. In my opinion, I'm probably one of the higher, you know, people on this guy. Have been for a while. I, I do believe, call me crazy, I believe this guy is the most mechanical player in the world already. Uh, and he's, I think, 15 or 16 years old. In my opinion, already the most mechanical player without even uh, touching RCS yet which is just crazy to say, but I, I I truly think that. I think his car moves completely differently um, to anyone that I've ever seen. He, his control, his just way of moving around the pitch, his speed, as we see there, he uh, gets a, a nice little drift into a flick straight away. This guy, he scores shots that are considered some of people's like cleanest highlights. He scores them, like he scores one a game. It's actually kind of crazy, to be honest. Um, do I think he's going to make Vitality better? They've just played the recent regional. They got second to Carmine Court, which um, is no, you know, that's that's not a bad result at all. That's extremely good. Um, as Zen is just trying to style on his opponents here. But Vitality, his team, they got second to Carmine Cup. I think that these guys will improve this with Zen. Uh, I don't know what player they will replace. They'll absolutely replace a the player they have to when you have um, this guy. I mean, to be honest, this guy could already be the best player in the world. He's not even played RCS. I, I, I could say that. Like, he could be the most individually talented player in the world without playing a game of RCS. Who knows? We'll see when it comes. You can't say someone is the best until they've proved it on the big stage. Watch this save, by the way. I have to rewind this. He dives underneath the player and he kind of like pogos the goal on the goal line rather and then uses his flip to get the block in case the second man comes and he shoots again. It's completely ridiculous. He comes on the other end and almost scores a flip percent dunk saved by the crossbar for the blue team. So crazy stuff coming from Zen and the amount of threats he puts on target is out of this world, like genuinely out of this world. I, I don't... I just don't know. They have to bump him out of the net to score or bump him to make him awkward in order to get the ball in. It's just crazy. Um, yeah, like I said, Vitality have to replace a player with this guy. I don't know who they will. Uh, it'll be someone. If I had to pick, it would be the Cezanne or Radisson. Um, beautiful shot by Arisu in this lobby. Um, but yeah, I'd say Cezanne or Radisson goes, makes way for Zen. And uh, I think it would be, it would be incredible. Zen. What role would he play? Guys, let me know in the comments what role you think this player would play because it looks like he can do anything. I swear, just the amount of like clean touches, that's just a forfeit. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. Let's go on to the next replay. All right, second replay here. Like I was saying, guys, the amount of uh, just kind of clean touches he gets in a row is, is just ridiculous. And it's not like he's... Like most mechanical players, they pull it off, but they... They don't put it off as consistently as him. I, I swear to God, I'm not at the speed. It's, it's mental. But as I was saying, guys, let me know in the comments what role you think Sam would play on Vitality. I think he could play any role. And I don't know what I would prefer to see him as. Obviously, that's for the coach and for the team to decide and, and for himself, of course. Um, I think it would be interesting to see him play a mechanical third man role. Because I think that some of the best, uh, some of the best third men in Rocket League, some of the best players who play that third man role, like Patera, is the one of the best, if not the best player in the world at playing that third man role. They're some of the most mechanical players. And it's just about, you know, having a defensive, a defensively oriented player, being able to also just pull off everything or and anything in game. I, I think that's uh, you know, that's useful. You know, they they understand what is 
uh, what is capable from their opponents because they know mechanics better than anyone. Uh, they understand what's best. Oh my God, I have to rewind this. He puts his shot top right. I thought it was just going top left. He places it around Joyo. What well, a save by Joyo there. Um, but like I said, I, I would like to see him in the third man mechanical role, I think, um, because, you know, just to see that that mechanical style in, in the back is, is usually most effective. But at the same time, it could just be useful to let this guy, you know, run circles around around the defense of the opponents, to be honest, and just let him ball chase because he is probably the best ball chaser in the world, um, or one of them at least, second, maybe second to Nupo or, or even above him. I think Nupo is one of the best ball chasers in the world too, um, in Mina. But yeah, I, I think it could be could be good to see him uh, just bull chase. That could be that could be interesting. To see him, see if he could just you know outspeed the opponents. Um, you guys know me. Everyone who's watched RCS recently, uh, we've been doing very very well. And I've been I keep speaking to. I think that mechanics aren't the future of the game. I think that team play structure is and and just decision making is the future of the game. However, if I was a player to change my decision on this, it would it would be him. Because I, I think that he could just be good enough to beat everyone. Which he has to have an amazing team around him, which he will in Vitality. Uh, I didn't completely believe in the roster. Oh my god, I didn't completely believe the roster was right for him. I have to go back. <laughs> what is that control? I don't know if he quite meant that. I think he meant to wall dash and it kind of worked out, but. Just this kind of ability to make things up on the fly is, in, is incredible. Um, and you guys will notice, right, is that he he isn't, like, some of these mechanical players, they're quite, some some people call them stupid, right? They, they don't really understand how to position or rotate. He's got that on lock without without playing, you know, much competitive threes or, or you know, high level RCS threes. And those of you guys, uh, those of you who watch this video right now, I'm sure a lot of you are saying, well, Jack, these are two three plays. You know, we know Zen is ranked one in twos, you know, 99% of the time. We know he can do that. But he's clearly not proven in threes. You know, he's not going to be able to transfer the skill. On screen right now, you guys can see some of his three v three results. Every single tournament he's played in threes, or, or a lot of them, not every single one, but a lot of them he's won. And, and he's not winning against bad opponents. He is winning against top level opponents. Uh, you know, RCS parents like you can see on screen, you know, Casio, Fairy Peak. These guys are no slouches to RCS and he is he is beating them consistently in grand finals or in tournaments. And uh, he's beating them with, you know, just pickup teams. Uh, some he was playing with Sazen and Radisson, both members of the team he's on. So potentially even you have a team right there ready to just perform at a high level. I don't think it will be that team. I think Alpha's going to uh, beyond the squad. Uh, I didn't realize that I was hiding the scoreboard all this time. Um, but yeah, I, I think Raz, uh, I think Alpha's going to be on the squad, but as a even the team of Zen, Raz and Sazen will work really well as we see in these, some of these tournaments. Um, just incredible, really. Just to be able to perform at three, three at the highest level without having too much practice, I can only you know imagine what high level threes is going to do for this guy. Look at this shot. Flip set, backwards into the dunk i mean just this it's so smooth so smooth and and a lot of mechanical players will look this smooth in replays because replays in rock league will look usually look smoother than live gameplay uh, i don't know why but you just don't see as many of the small things you see in game in the replays it looks smoother the cars turn quicker they seem to like be a little bit almost robotic in replays but at the same time, you won't find many players or any players looking as smooth as them, even in replay. Um, yeah, I just, I can't wait, man. I've been waiting to see this player play for for a while. I really, I'm really looking forward to it. Do I think Vitality? Oh, I'm live. Do I think uh, I'm, I'm on, online on Steam? I mean, people are asking me how am I how am I grinding. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm replaying. I'm replaying analyzing Zen. I'm not grinding right now. But uh, do I think Vitality will make the Spring Major with Zen? Early call. Early, really early call. I believe they will get first or second European seed. I think that Carmine Core is probably still my my pick to to get first seeds for Europe, even in Spring Split. Of course, 
this split isn't out of the way, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I think these guys are going to be the real deal. Let's go on to the third replay. All right, third replay, guys. Last one of the video. And uh, you guys are seeing that he's not playing against, you know, no just ranked worries. He's playing against pro players and and uh, pro players that are qualifying for lands like Ixo, like Julio, I mean, Julio, major champion. And um, obviously it's just 2v2, but you guys saw what you can do in the threes. And um, yeah, this final replay is, uh, you know, just kind of reinforcing it. Nothing crazy really happens in this replay. That was a poor mistake from Zen there. Definitely not invincible. Um, but yeah, nothing crazy really happens in this replay, I don't think, from Zen. But I um, I wonder if he'll be able to clip at the same level in RCS. Like, I think Europe... Um, I'd like to see him in NA. I, I think NA would would uh, be more beneficial for his play style. But obviously, he's 16 years old. He can't move to NA and he shouldn't really. Of course, he needs to, you know, play in, play in Europe first. But I think NA would complement him very well as his play style. Uh, but I think he's still going to perform extremely well in Europe. Hot take, I think this guy will probably be the best player uh, in the world, if not top three by the end of the season. He'll only be able to play one split and world champion, uh, world championship if Fight had to qualify, which I think they will. Um, He'll only be able to play those um, those few tournaments, but I think he'll prove his worth uh, in such a short amount of time. Um, yeah, you guys have heard me heard me speak enough about it. I, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Are these just regular replays, guys? Does this look like any other any other mechanical player to you, or does it look a little bit different? Because for me, I've been um, this player has always been been improving. He's a grinder, very big grinder. It's, I think all, I genuinely all he does is probably play the game because he's always got like 100 hours plus past two weeks I'm pretty sure um, and it's um, it's crazy and um, I think I think it's good that he'll have he'll have a good coach around him as well he'll have Ferra on Vitality Ferra former pro player he'll know what's that needs what on earth is that shot I'm sorry I have to go back real quick just to, like, I don't think of flipping this way. And I swear, when I flip this way, I don't, like, recover as smooth. Like, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just different. Like, someone's got to check his PC for, for some hacks or something. Because I'm not cool and I don't think this is, it can't be legit at this point. Because he just seems to be moving differently. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's just, if you got that flip set, it'd be crazy. But... Who knows? Am I overrated, overrated him? Potentially. What a save. He's not going to get back to that. Am I overrated him? A lot of pressure on the shoulders, of course. A lot of people in the in the community are going to be saying that Vitality will be um, one of, if not the best team in the world once Zen comes around. Uh, Zen will be the best player in the world. Uh, a lot of pressure. You know, a lot of pressure. And, and I'm sure he's well aware of that. You sometimes get this feeling, though, that... Um, what was this? I, I knew that looked weird. I haven't seen this... I, like before now, like, did he like flip? What was that flip cancel? That was so strange. Like his, his kind of like instantly can That was really weird. That was really strange. That that definitely looked weird. I'm not having anyone comment saying, oh, that, that was normal. That was normal. That was that was strange. Um, what was I saying? But yeah, he, he's going to have a lot of pressure, but there's something about certain players. You, you seem to, you seem to already know like kind of what style of like mentality they'll have before even you know before they even you even actually see it from them of course we've seen this player play or i have for 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 years for like a good three years i've been in ranked lobbies with this player um i've heard people speak to, speak to him or i know people who speak to him and i i know a bit about the guy i spoke to him a bit myself and stuff like that but you can already tell that he probably just has a mentality that he will not care he probably already thinks he's the best player in the world uh, and to be honest, he probably has an argument for it. Um, and yeah, I think he's not going to care about the pressure. I don't think he's going to care about what anyone thinks. Uh, or he might care, uh, but I think it's only going to benefit him and he's only going to perform well. Um, perhaps he'll flop. I just can't see it, man. I can't see it. And if he if he does struggle in the first few tournaments, I don't see it uh, lasting long. For me, it's inevitable that he'll be um, winning events at some point the caliber of events that he's winning whether it's you know re just regionals or whether it's majors and, and world championships i i don't know 
Um, I think it's very hard to win majors. Sometimes I think that the best players in history, some of the best players in history will never win a major. And I know that a lot of people will not agree with me that they're like, oh, you have to win the biggest tournaments to be some of the best players in history. But I don't completely agree. Uh, I, I think that there are absolutely players in certain sports or, uh, you know, certain games that they don't win the biggest tournaments, but they still have claimed to be some of the best players in history. That is my opinion. Uh, I, I don't see it any different in this game. Um, so the caliber of tournaments that he wins, uh, sometimes skill level doesn't speak to, to, you know, chances of winning in that regard. But I think that he'll absolutely have, uh, you know, teams to be contending for those tournaments on. Um, so, yeah, I um, I think the the chances of um, this guy performing are, are, for me, higher than any rookie we've seen come into the league in the past two years, which is, you know, that's a lot of rookies. You know, you've got some high performing rookies like Daniel, like Seiko. Obviously, no one expected Seiko to perform as well as he did or, or well at all. Uh, some people, or a lot of people, rather expected Daniel to perform well. Uh, I do think Zen will perform well, uh, better. I was going to say weller, great English. I do, I do think Zen will perform better. Now, it's no shot at Daniel. I, ju I just truly think that this guy is a um, different player, different player. Um, great save from Stizzy here and, and Zen's, Zen's lobby here. Kept them in that one. But yeah, coming to the end of this replay, Zen passes it down to Stizzy and a terrible shot and it goes behind the, the defender. Uh, good enough placement. Sometimes shot power obviously isn't everything. So nice play from Stizzy there. Good pass from Zen. But guys, please let me know in the comments. Do you guys think this player is the real deal? I really do. I think this guy is going to be on the top of Rock League for the next two, three years minimum. Um, yeah. Mechanical beast. That is all I have to say. Guys, thank you for watching. And we'll see how Vitality does in the next three months. Take care.